how to play two strings at once with good tone. Hi, I'm violinist Heather Kay. I work with dedicated adult violinists who desire impeccable technique and to play with gorgeous tone. What I just played for you at the beginning of this video is an excerpt from my composition for solo violin and demonstrated some double stops for you. Now, double stops are when we play two strings at once. You can give it a go, just A and D, and that's a double stop. Triple stops is when we play three strings at once, and quadruple stops is when we play four strings at once. The typical reaction for a violinist when they play a double stop is to push. <laughs> Eek, sounds horrible. <laughs> But that's just the natural instinct, thinking, okay, I have to play two strings at once, so I gotta push harder. But that is exactly the opposite of what needs to be done. In order to play gorgeous double stops on the violin, or two strings at the same time, it's all about balance. It's about balancing the bow equally on those two strings. Maybe sometimes we wanna have a little bit more weight on another string because the melody is there, but in general, we are balanced on the two strings. So how to practice this? What you want to do is just practice first the open D string. Discover where your arm sits, your elbow sits, and how your arm feels on just that open D. And then what we're gonna do is change that level so we're actually on the D and A level, so you're balanced on both strings. So you can see it's a very subtle change. Here's the D string, and here's the D and A. So very, very subtle change. Once you find that plane of where your arm lives for what I call the D and A floor, then you can go ahead and give this a practice with long whole bows. You're gonna find that long whole bow on two strings is not as easy as it sounds. You want to listen that you have two strings speaking clearly from the beginning of the bow stroke to the end of the bow stroke so that you don't drop out one string or the other. You may want to take it a little bit slower. just really feel how that is on the two strings. As you're balanced, it's gonna be easy to play piano. So this is a great practice to practice this piano dynamic, not forte, because with forte, it's uh, with a little bit more weight, and it's gonna be easier to play on those two strings. Challenge yourself by playing two strings at once in a piano dynamic. If you find that one string drops out in a specific part of the bow, at the frog or at the tip, isolate that specific part of the bow and work that area. So maybe at the tip, just practice two strings at once. Now, beautiful piano dynamic. So I demonstrated this on the D and the A string. You can take it on the A and the E and also on the G and the D. I would start with open strings first and be comfortable with long whole bows on just a single string and then go ahead and go to two strings at once. Listening that you don't drop out a string. Then the next step, <laughs> if you choose to take this challenge, is to apply your left hand to that. Okay, so a very simple exercise is to play on one of those two strings that you're playing with a bow. The first step is to play on the upper string. That's a little bit easier for the left hand to play on the upper string. So in this example, with the A and the D, you can play on the upper string, on the A string, and just E, D, C sharp, B, A, okay? So we're gonna get that lined up for the left hand and play the two strings at once. So of course the E and the D is gonna sound a little dissonant, but the D, your third finger in the open D, should sound in unison practically. And then the C sharp and the D, again dissonant, and then the B and the D. Nice sixth there, interval of a sixth. So as you're practicing this, you can do it separate bows at first.
just to feel the left hand working and the right hand staying balanced on the two strings. A natural tendency is for the right hand to want to follow the left and you may find that your open D drops out. <laughs> That's okay, just keep working at it and listen for two strings at once. Always listen for a gorgeous tone that you're balanced, practice within a piano dynamic and not in forte. Also, with your right arm, feel that your shoulder is relaxed, that the elbows relax, that you stay relaxed as you play these double stops. The only change between two strings at once and one string is where you are balanced on the violin. That's it. Everything else should remain normal. No tense shoulder, no tense elbow, or any tension in the body just because you're playing two strings at once. All it is is just you're leaning over. That's it. So then I'm going to challenge you for the third step in this exercise, and that's to take the left hand and put it over on the lower string. The reason I did this as the third step and not the second is because it's a little bit more challenging for your left hand. If your left hand is not set up properly, you're going to have a very difficult time clearing that upper string. So <clears throat> if you find that is the case, then you need to make some adjustment in your left hand, that your left hand is not properly set up if you're not clearing that upper string. Okay. So I'm going to take this, this is going to be with the, uh, on the D and the A string, and we're going to play um, the D string, A, G, and let's do F natural so we can have a little bit more drama in the melody here, making it minor. And um, we start with the fourth finger, and you may wonder, well, why are we starting with the fourth finger? If you follow me, you already know why. <laughs> the fourth finger is a great way to set up the left hand so you know how to feel balanced. If you set up with the first finger, you're probably flipping out. So even though this video is about two strings at once with good tone, you have some left hand tips here and you're going to find out if your left hand is set up properly or not. If it's not set up properly and you discover this is very challenging, you will definitely want to check out my video on how to create a balanced left hand. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this, give this a go. I'm going to show you actually from this angle so you can see how the fingers clear that upper string. And here we go. So I demonstrated that with separate bows on each finger. That's like the first step. Then you could slur two, slur four, and, um, and then if you wanted to, go ahead and slur the entire sequence. All right, that way you can explore your two strings at once with really good tone and applying your left hand. So you can make sure your right hand is still behaving as you apply the left hand. It's also a good way to see if your left hand is really set up properly because that should not be an issue to clear the upper string. And you have your new double stop practice routine. Have fun practicing your double stops with good tone. Ciao.